Good morning, guys. Welcome to the Dragon's Lair Blacksmith Shop and Studio. Uh, today, I'm going to be making a Ron Rail burner. Uh, I'm at work right now, and then we need to heat up a piece of steel and just a regular little torch will not do, and we don't have a set of cutting torches. So um, I went to town and I grabbed all the parts uh, that I need to build this burner. And it's a great burner that was uh, designed by this blacksmith, Ron Rail. Uh, the plans for it are all over the internet. It's a recommended burner for a beginner making forges. You can go on the Abana website and download all the plans and pretty simple to do. Don't, there's no welding involved. It's just going to be a couple of power tools that I have around here. Drill press, grinder. I uh, brought a tapping set, but you probably could do it without. Um, anyway. So that's what we're going to do today. So you can see all the different parts that we have for this burner. So it's a venturi burner, uh, which means that air is going to be coming in on this side and then go through the nozzle. And then we're going to have a flared nozzle at the end. So what we need for parts is we have a reducing bell, one, uh, one and a half, it says right here, you can see, so we, I got all this from the pump, from the regular hardware store in town. So one and a half by three quarter reducing bell. Then we have an eight inch long, three quarter inch uh, piece of tubing. If you have black iron, that would be better, but that's what they had in town. It's galvanized. Uh, not, you know, it's just going to burn off eventually. You're just going to be careful in the first couple of burns not to breathe any of the fumes. And they'll burn the, uh, the coating off. And then we have a 3-inch. Oh, sorry, it's a, this is a 4-inch. Uh, one, one by 1 inch by 4-inch long galvanized tubing. Uh, I grabbed this piece here. I could have gone a little bit smaller. This is 3-8 by 6. It's going to work well for what I want to do here. Um, but you could do go down as one quarter, uh, one quarter by anywhere from four to you know depending how you want to set up probably four to six. Uh, this is a six piece inch. We have a cap here at the end. We have an adapter going from male to um, male to female. Um, it's, just, it's just for. Going three eight to half inch. I have a valve, uh, just a water valve. It's a blue one. That's why it's you know you could get a gas one if you want. It would be yellow usually on the handle, but this will work fine. Uh, so it's just a half inch, half inch by half inch, and then we have a ninety degree going from. Uh, pipe thread to fuel to regular propane adapter here. So it's a uh, half inch to three eight propane. And then we have, uh, I got some tape, some plumbing tape. This yellow one is for gas. And I also got to get a little fancier and make the thing a little more solid. I got a few set screws. I'll put them on tape here. You know, so it's just an Allen key that fits on the end and we've got some set screws that we will be using two on this end and then we'll be using two as well to mount this um, flare nozzle and also from the auto parts store in town they have these welding tips you could just drill this little hole but uh, this makes a cleaner burn and that's what they recommend how to build this so as far as size it's a Twico or I don't know if you can see it there. I know it's a two-co, tweco, tweco style, and the dimension is 23 1,000. So that's the size it's written on there. So that's the size we need. And then as far as tools, like I said, we have a set of, we just have a regular angle grinder. We're going to be doing that with device, pre drill press, and uh, some tapping. So the first part I'm going to do is I'm going to cut one of these two threads off here. It's going to give us a, this will not be stuck inside the nozzle. It'll give us a nicer uh, burn. Um, anyway, so I'm going to cut this on the angle grinder. The 
next part i gotta cut both treads off this uh four inch pipe so i'm gonna be left with about a two inch section in this in the center so i'm gonna cut that off you can see uh we got this piece here one of the treads cut off and then we got this uh cut off here so the plan let's see here what we're gonna do is we're gonna this will fit in here but it's pretty tight so we need to do a little bit of A little bit of monkey wrench and although we could have gone this way yeah you see it doesn't really quite so i'm gonna so i just gotta grind it off a little bit so this tip fits on here and i'll take the burrs off and you can see is this seam and then what well, that has to come out uh we can so we'll just take a file that kind of gets in the way and then uh we'll File that off, it'll be easier for us to uh, fit it on this end. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get the inside burr off. If you have a Dremel, that would work very good for this, but I don't have one here, so I'm just gonna do it by hand. Gonna buff it up a little bit, just put it up on the on the grinder here. See, it took a little bit off here on the end and what I want to do is I want to make sure these pieces can fit in nicely so I might need to remove a little bit more material and then it's going to be nice and tight. You can see here what's going on is this fits it's going to fit nicely it's going to fit at least you know quarter inch it's going all the way up to there and then I'm going to secure that with set screws. Okay, so the next step is I'm gonna drill two holes so I can fit this tubing. see I didn't have quite the right size drill bit so I just use the reamer here and then because we want this to fit nice and snug so I think right now it's gonna go in properly you can see there's a little bit of a lip so I'm just gonna use a drill bit to clean that up and there'll be one that will here, be one you hole. can see I'm just I just lined it up and I'm gonna drill the other hole from this side pilot hole and then I'll remit uh, to the proper size so I'll know you know this is centered and it's gonna be where we want to burn all right so we got our holes 
drilled right through. And then this will fit in here. Okay. And then we're going to drill two holes here to put our set screws into here. We also have to drill one hole to fit our burner somewhere like that. So we're going to do that. I'm going to pick a spot where, you know, this seems like it's going to work. Uh, about here. We don't need, you know, we want, I'll, I'll go right here. This hole here drill, and you can see, you got to make sure you only go halfway. You don't want to go right through. So now I gotta, gotta tap this because this doesn't quite fit in here. So we're just gonna tap this. Now you can see this gonna fit in here just right. Just nice and snug. Okay. Now you can see I drilled two little holes on the top. And that's going to be to hold this in place. It's going to be facing like that so it doesn't rotate, or jet doesn't rotate. Alright, so now I got everything tapped. So I'm just going to put this together. It's going to come in here. I'm going to take this thing here. The tip. Okay, so this can quite fit, so I'll have to put it from the other side. It's going to be interesting. Hmm. Need some long old pliers. I'll go get that. And then here, you can see what's going on. So I put this in here. We're just going to center this. We're just going to center this, and then we're going to uh, use the set screw to keep it where we want it okay, and now you can see i uh, fitted this, this these set screws are a little bit long but that's okay i fitted this tip the nozzle tip at the end of this pipe pipe put the, the the tape when you put the tape you want to go clockwise you go with the grain so i taped all my bits and i'm just ready to and then here you can see this, see this thing here Set screws are in there, holding this together. Here we are. So we got our burner that's fully completed right now. Actually, no, look at that. We're missing a part. Before we assemble the tip. So yeah, this is centered there. We got the cap all centered. Handle is straight. We got our valve and connectors and adapters and so on. So once we got that built, uh, we're just going to connect this piece here to um, put it together. Gonna put it in a vise. So here we go. We got it. We got a run rail burner. The only other part that they recommend doing is flaring this tip a uh, quarter inch out. Uh, but I don't have an anvil here, so uh, we're not going to, I'm not going to do that. I probably could do it on a mandrel if I really wanted to, but it might be, a, uh, it might be a little tricky anyway. So we're going to hook it up to a propane tank and we're, we're going to give it a, we're going to give it a try. See what. That's a little test. There we go. We got it going. I uh, just use a torch. Just need a little bit of. Just need a little bit of TLC. So probably uh, just too much air. So what I did is I just used this torch here to light it up. If it was inside a forge environment, it probably would stay open more easily. So it's 
a little bit erratic. Uh, fixing this burner tip will be uh, up and out. But right now, uh, it's on and it's working. There we have it. This is how you make a Rhone rail burner. How you want to attach it to your forge is up to you. But um, very solid burner. Like I said, I'll work a little bit on the on the nozzle, and I'll show you guys an update on that. If you like the channel, subscribe, leave me a comment, give me a like, or I don't like, but like is better. Um, yeah, anything I can improve the channel, and if you, there's something else you guys would like to see, uh, please let me know. Thanks.